Welcome back to Space Arena, the Ultimate Python Turtle Graphics Game Tutorial Part 14, in which we make a radar. So basically what we want to do is get started. So we're going to have our basic play screen, and what we want to do is we want to add over here a section where we can put some information, and we're going to have a little radar down here that kind of shows what's going on in the game. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So if you've been following along, which I assume you have, we're going to need to create a class. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here, and I'm going to start creating the class. So I'm going to say class radar, no surprise there. And I'm going to make my constructor. Remember, two underscores before and two underscores after. And to set up our radar, we're going to need four pieces of information. It's x and y coordinate of the center of the radar, the width of the radar, and the height of the radar. What's nice about doing it this way is that if we decided to change the, the size of our screen, let's say you have a really big monitor, you want to make a larger screen, we can also change the size of the radar very easily to match that. Okay. So just like we did before, we do self.x equals x, self.y equals y, and this should be, be pretty, you know, I don't know, natural by now. If, again, if I'm following along and doing it step by step. Okay. And that's basically all we have to set up at this point, which is which is quite nice. And then our radar is going to have one other method, which of course is going to be render. And in this method, we're going to need to send a few different things. Of course, self, because it's an object, we always use self. And we're inside of a class definition, so that's an important piece of information, because I do get that question from time to time. We're going to need a pen to draw with. And in this particular case, remember the pen is a turtle object, so that gives us all the different things a turtle object can do. And then we're going to need a list of sprites that need to be drawn on the screen or drawn in the radar. Okay. So what we'll do is we will go ahead and just kind of draw the circle for the radar. So I'm going to go ahead and say draw your radar circle. And I nice to go up and do that. Do it this way. And so let's say, I'm going to say pen.set heading to 90. Then I'm going to do pen.go to self.x plus uh, 100. And 100 comes from the fact that the width is 200. And self.y. And oops, I should have put that there. And then I'm going to do pen.pen down because now I want to start drawing. And then pen.circle. There is actually a circle command. And again, I'm using hard-coded numbers here just because it's easier. But what I should have done, or what I could do, I could still go ahead and do that, is to do, uh, I could say, width divided by 2.0. And here I could do width uh, divided by 2.0. That, that would make it easier if we decided to change that later. And then I'm going to go ahead and do pen.pen up because I no longer want to draw. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and run that and see what happens. Now, of course, we're not going to see anything here because we haven't actually created the object yet. So that's our next thing, is we're going to create the radar object. Okay, So it'll probably come as no surprise. If you, again, if you've been following along, I'm just going to do radar equals radar. Remember, it's x comma y. And this is the little pop-up there tells you what you need. And I've already mapped it out. I've kind of played around with it before. 200 and 200 and 200. And then what I need to do, I've created the object. But then I also down here is in my while true loop is I need to render the radar. So I'm just going to go radar.render. And remember, I have to send pen and sprites. Okay, So if you remember up here, we created a list of sprites, and that's what we're using as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run that and see what happens. Okay, we've got an error. Okay, radar object has no attribute width. Okay, so that was just a stupid mistake on my part because, as I mentioned, I am inside. Well, that's a dude, that's a really dumb one. Uh, so the width equals height, and then I realized that I should put self dot width here and self dot width there. Okay, so yeah. So what happens when you talk at the same time. So you can see down here, I've got my radar. Now, of course, it's off the screen. You know, this is not where it should be, and you know, it's it's kind of interfering here. And that's that's that's, that's to be expected. This is this is what I expected would happen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this screen 
wider. Okay, so I have some room for my radar. So to do that, I'm going to go up to where I set up the screen, basically way up here. And where is that at? Uh, screen width and screen height. So when I set up the screen here, uh, I'm going to add 220. And for the height, I think I just added 20. Okay. And the 200 comes from the fact that the width of the, the radar is 200. And the 20 I added, I, I just found that like through experimentation that stuff was getting cut off. And so by adding an extra 20 pixels, I could see everything on the screen. So it's not, not super scientific, but it does work. So let's go ahead and test that. And that's about what I expected to see, okay, which, which is good so far. Okay, now you can see there's a little bit of overlap, and I'll get to that probably in another video. So, what we got to do now is we need to start drawing the sprites. Okay, so, I'm going to go find my radar, and I can just start going to do it like that. And then I say, draw the sprites. Okay, so watch what I do here. So, for sprites in sprites. So the first thing I gotta check is if the sprite state equals active. So I only wanna draw active sprites. You know, there's something else I gotta add there later, but I'm gonna leave that like it is for now. So what I gotta calculate is the radar X and the radar Y. So it's gonna be self.x plus sprite.x, oops, what happened there, oh, minus, oops, minus player.x okay. times, there's a little formula I came up with, self.width divided by game.width. Okay. And then radar y is going to follow the same pattern, self.y plus sprite.y minus player.y times self. Dot, I think it, this might, might be height. Height divided by game.height. And then I'm going to do pen dot go to radar x radar y. And just to make it easy, I'm going to say pen dot color. We'll just do, uh, we just do, I guess it doesn't matter, we'll just do white for now. And then I'm gonna say pen dot, uh, what can we do here? Um, shape size. And I'm just gonna make it really small, like uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and uh, none, because we don't want a border. Okay, and I say pen dot stamp. Okay. Now I'm gonna update this in a little bit, but this should give us a rough idea what this, it's gonna look like and see if we're kind of on the right path. Okay, and it does, you can see. So here's the player, okay? And then, so you see how the player's moving here relative to the other game object. So let me see if I, you can see if I fire. Now you'll see now, this is off the screen. Okay, so we don't wanna, we don't wanna show sprites that are too far away, so we gotta deal with that eventually. But you can see now, it, it is kind of working, okay? Now we don't see the border, which is, you know, Okay, I guess we can live with that. Um, but you see how it basically works. It was pretty simple. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're taking the center of the radar. We're adding the distance from the player to the sprite. And then we're multiplying it by the width of the radar divided by the game width. Okay, so that gives us basically the whole, uh, I don't know how you put it, like, the whole width of the game in the radar, which we might not want later, but we can do that for now. Okay, so now watch what we do here. What we want to do is we want to make an actual nice little radar thing. So I'm going to do the following. So the pen color is going to be the sprite color. Okay, and for now the pen dot shape is going to be the sprite dot shape. So let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. Okay, so you can see here, I've got, a little, I've got a little triangle for the player at the bottom. And I've got you know, a small little square and a circle in the color 
for each of the sprites here, which is pretty pretty cool actually. Okay, um, a couple of things we got to do here. You probably couldn't see it, but we need to also set the heading before we do that. So we say, oops. So pen dot set heading. So it's the same shape heading as the sprite. Dot. So what is it? Heading. I think that should do it. And let's go ahead and just test that. It's a little hard to see because these are really small, um, but they are. That one is circular. That one is square, and it's hard to see. But that is rotating when I rotate the player as well. So that's pretty cool. And you can see the uh, missile is going towards. Yeah. So now you can see as it's adding stuff that the radar is doing what it needs to do. Okay. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of getting there. It's getting getting to where we want it to be. Now. Let's go ahead and kind of update this a little bit better and see if there's anything else we need to do with that. Um, I mean, actually, to be honest, we could kind of leave it there and just have everything be really small like that. And that might actually be simpler. I had a, I had a bit more complicated piece of code previously, but actually now that I've, I, I look at this, I actually quite like it and it's really simple. So let's go ahead and keep it like that for now and see if we have any other errors. But the one thing that we do have to fix is that now this is well a couple things we gotta fix this is kind of overlapping we don't really want that uh, and the other thing is so what we're gonna have you remember from the 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 video is we're gonna actually have a whole block here of information so we'll have some text up here one of the radar down here so what we want to do is we want to move this over 100 pixels okay and the easiest way to do that that I can think of right now is to and again the hundred comes from the width of the uh, the radar basically so what I'm going to do is in my rendering let's look for our render camera X let's say minus 100 render the border minus 100 so everything has to be minus 100 now I, I could put uh, I probably should but we'll keep it easy I should put uh, radar dot width but let's just go ahead and make it minus 100. And this one, I'm not sure about. Let's try it and see what happens. And I think we're okay there. Let's try that. Might do it, might not. We'll see. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, somebody's at the door. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. And that was a nice delivery from a very nice uh, Japanese delivery lady. So uh, basically, here is what we've got. So let's take a look at that real quick. In case we've forgotten probably you haven't because you've been watching the video but I've kind of forgotten and now I'm having trouble getting this to work it's being okay so it's a little bit off and uh, basically I realized that um, the reason it's off is that the camera doesn't need to be added a hundred the, the camera's fine the camera needs to be on the player so let's go ahead and do that. So now you can see how there's an equal distance here to about here. And again, we're, we're going to put something in there later so we don't see some see the overlap. So that is the game. Now what's what's cool? So let's uh, oops, let's go ahead and do that. And oops, boy, it gets really fast. Uh, I got to fix that later. But uh, let me uh, let me go ahead and just kind of make a little quick change here to the game size. Oops wrong one it's gonna be a little bit long so it's hard to find stuff so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and triple it let's say 2100 and 1500 and run it and see what happens okay so you can see how we've got items way off in the distance because now this is the whole thing right so thanks here's some weird uh, it's drawing a little bit weird but that's okay um, we'll figure that fix that later um, yeah. And there's no back and there's no background, but it kind of works. But you can see how the radar is still working as we expected it to. Okay, so that's basically what we've got. Now the thing I want to do with the radar, actually, I'm going to put this back to 700 and 500. Is there's one more thing? Is we don't want to see everything on on the screen, and the reason is that we want to assume that there's a certain level of radar that the player has like the player can only see on the radar say a certain distance and that makes the game a bit more 
you know, challenging and you know, things will come on the radar and come off of the radar. So what we got to do is we need to measure the distance between each of these sprites. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here and say, so I say make make sure the uh, let's see how can I say it the sprite is close to the player. So I'm going to give my player uh, actually I'll give, I'll give all the sprites a little a radar just just to make it easy. So I'm going to say sprite. So I'll say self dot radar. Just for now, we'll say equals two hundred. So that means it can see 200 pixels in either direction. And so back to here. And what I'm going to say is I'm going to, I'm going to calculate the distance. So distance equals, and this is going to be using the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to say it's sprites, let's see, say player.x minus sprites.x. And this has to be squared, so it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And I'm going to, that's squared, plus player.y minus sprite.y. Okay, and again, squared. And what I'm going to do to make it easier is I'm going to square it by 0 0.5. That's the same as taking the square root. Okay, so trust me on that. And Watch your parentheses because I know I'm going to get a billion people asking, you know, it doesn't work. I'm getting some kind of weird error. Make sure all your parentheses are aligned. This is a set. This is a set. And this whole thing has to be square rooted. So that's a set as well. So then I say if the distance is less than player dot radar, was it radar? Yeah, I think it was radar. And then we stamp it. Otherwise, we don't stamp it. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so okay, so it's working. So you can see how this is close. There it comes up on the radar. Okay, so you have to, so you can see how it gets closer, but then it disappears once it gets off the edge of the radar, even though I can see it on the screen. Okay, so we'll have to play with the numbers later once the screen is bigger, but that kind of gives you an idea of how to make it so that we can't see everything on, on the screen. Like right now you can see a lot because you know everything's really close. But once we make this big this box bigger, it'll it'll work exactly as we expect it. At least I think it will. So anyway, um, I know that was a bit of a long one, but I think you get the idea of how to do a little bit of a radar. So just go back and watch that carefully and uh, you know thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Take care.